Steps will be taken to improve rail reliability following a major train disruption in October last year, which affected over 100,000 commuters. Measures include replacing components along the Twas West extension and reducing humidity to prevent rust. The Land Transport Authority revealed findings from investigations at the groundbreaking for an integrated train testing centre, the first in Southeast Asia. A massive disruption that left thousands stranded across three MRT lines in October was traced to two seemingly minor glitches. A cut in the power cable insulation on the Toise West extension causing it to short circuit and rust on a component of the trip coil, which meant it couldn't activate the circuit breaker to isolate the fault. Findings show the cut in the cable insulation may be due to a defect or mishandling during installation, while the rust was likely caused by an inadequate protective coating during manufacturing. Measures are being taken to prevent future disruptions. We have already changed out all the trip coils after the October 2020 disruption, and we will replace them again with an enhanced design made of stainless steel by the third quarter of next year. LTA has also adjusted the setting on the space heaters to reduce the humidity level within the circuit breakers. SMRT has stepped up the frequency of maintenance regime to every three months. Ms. Dong noted that a lot of work and costs have gone into rectifying the defects. He added that spending on maintenance has doubled and it's not wise to stint on this. Cutting corners on maintenance to save costs is not being productive, is not contributing towards financial sustainability. As the remedial action is always disruptive, expensive and costs many times over, maintenance expenditure per place KM has doubled over the last 10 years and has reached a healthy and reasonable level. An integrated train testing centre in Tuas will be completed in 2024 to further boost efforts to speed up diagnosis and rectification of train faults. With three tracks, it will be able to test different signalling systems and trains concurrently. And by allowing testing to be carried out away from the main line, this will minimise inconvenience to commuters.